The pair of Sonoma County inventors set a new land speed record for locomotives. But as KPIX 5's John Ramos reports, progress can move slowly <laughs> even when it's taking a leap. On Saturday, our transportation technology took a step forward. But rather than looking like something from the future, it actually looked like something from the past. The old Shellville Railroad Station dates back to the late 1800s, so it was here in 1903 when the Wright brothers made the first machine-powered flight at Kitty Hawk. Eric Houston sees meaning in that. I think it's important to play with technology and to experiment, and I think this is a step in that direction. This 40-foot-long solar array on wheels is the world's first locomotive powered by the sun. It has no battery, converting sunlight directly into horsepower. 10 to be exact. So over the weekend, Eric and co-inventor Marco Fucci di Napoli decided to see how fast it could go. And because it's the first of its kind, anything over zero would have been the record. Despite overcast skies, the team took the STX-22, short for solar train with 22 panels, onto a quiet section of track and opened it up. And while it may not look very fast, Marco, who lives in Hawaii and was driving that day, said the structure was actually shaking quite badly. That was kind of the little worrisome part, hey, now we're pushing a little above the limit what we have tried before. But like a solar-powered Chuck Yeager, Marco piloted the train to a speed of 30.7 miles per hour, almost five miles per hour faster than they were anticipating. How long do you think that record will stand? That's a great question. Maybe until our next run. Okay. Ryan Martin is the GM of Northwest Pacific Railroad and says the STX-22 won't be powering rail cars anytime soon, but it's important to keep an open mind. And sky's the limit. You double the size of this thing, double the speed, you know, we're... We're going off into uh, uh, a, different, a different race for transportation. Some may scoff at the idea of solar power moving something as heavy as a train, but only a dreamer could have guessed where that flight at Kitty Hawk would eventually take us. In Shellville, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Well, the solar train set a world record because it's the only one. But next year, they plan to double its size and break the record for any solar-powered vehicle, which stands now at 56 miles per hour.